Hello dear students I am your educator Burhanuddin and it's time to cram This is the series of acid base and salt chapter 2 class 10 This is the 11th video lecture of this series So as you can see today we are going to discuss 2.2 what do all acids and all bases have in common and we are going to discuss activity 2.8 so let's do a quick summary of what i had covered in my previous video lecture i had completed introduction then understanding chemical properties of acid and bases then i had made rapid revision videos on chemical properties of acid and bases which will be very helpful to you and then today we are going to see topic 2.2 so these are the list of topic which i had covered in 2.1 with the help of activities if you want to watch this all videos in detail then click the bell icon and watch it or the link of this videos are also given in the description box and if you want to do a quick summary of chemical properties of acid and bases then watch my rapid revision video these are the list of topic which we are going to cover in 2.2 these are the list of topics which we are going to cover in 2.2 that is activity 2.8 then 2.1.1 what happens to an acid or a base in a water solution and activity 2.9 and activity 2.10 i had made notes of this video lecture and uploaded it on bloggers to download these notes link of blogger is given in the description box so what do an acids and all bases have in common so in section 2.1 we have seen that all acids have similar chemical properties what lead us to this similarity in properties we saw in activity 2.3 that all acids generates hydrogen so hydrogen seems to be common to all acids let us perform an activity to investigate whether all compounds containing hydrogen gas are acidic activity 2.8 apparatus required are hydrochloric acid solution glucose solution alcohol solution h2so4 solution beaker rubber cork nails wire switch battery and a bulb step 1 take solution of glucose its chemical formula is C6H12O6 then alcohol hydrochloric acid its chemical formula is HCl and sulfuric acid its chemical formula is H2SO4 step 2 take a beaker step 3 add hydrochloric acid in a beaker step 4 fix two nails on a cork and place it in the beaker or you can also use graphite rods connect the nails to the two terminals of a battery or ac supply through the bulb and a switch if needed step 6 switch on the supply and observe the bulb what did you observe here the bulb is glowing step 7 repeat the experiment separately with glucose alcohol and sulfuric acid solution let's see what are the outcomes observations bulb will glow bulb will glow in the case of hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid but bulb will not glow in the case of glucose and alcohol so what does this activity want to teach us and why bulb is glowing in the case of hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid and not in glucose and alcohol solution the bulb will start glowing in the case of acids but you will observe that glucose and alcohol solution do not conduct electricity glowing of the bulb indicates that there is a flow of electric current through the solution and the electric current is carried through the solutions by ions so glucose and alcohol do not conduct electricity since the cation present in acids is h plus cations means positive ions this suggests that 
acid produce hydrogen ion H plus in the solution which are responsible for the acidic property. As we had seen the example of SCL in SCL bulb is glown because there are H plus ion and Cl minus ion is present there. So conclusion we conclude that all compound containing hydrogen are acidic. Now I am giving you one task that is repeat the same activity using alkalis such as sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide etc. What can you conclude from this activity? Comment the answer of this question or you don't know the answer of this question then go to the blogger link I had uploaded the PDF of this video lecture. You will find answer of this question there. Topic which will be covered in next video lecture is section 2.1.1 what happens to an acid or a base in a water solution. That's all for today's video lecture. Thank you. And if you find this video lecture informative then like it and share it with your friends. And if you had not subscribed to our channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon to get latest notification and update. Thank you.